Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Germany and Rule the Waves 2, episode number 44. I'm going to start off this episode, excuse me, with some fan art. We have, uh, oh, let's zoom that in a little bit more. This is the Rhineland class carrier as depicted by HMS Sophia, also known as, uh, gosh, Ecrevain? Ecrevain. I don't know how to say that, but HMS Sophia is a lot easier for me to pronounce. So this is the, the fleet carrier that we're using right now. Um, she even has some airplanes flying around near it. And that's this, that's that one. We also have some more, um, some more light cruisers drawn from Minecraft. We have, let's close this one. This is the Schlichting class as seen from overhead. Maybe we'll widen this out a little bit. There we go. Uh, so this is a slicting class from overhead. We can see the side guns that she mounted, but also she had her three centerline turrets. Um, just a view from the side of her. I guess she had uh, two, one oval and two small funnels. I don't. I honestly don't remember. That may be correct or incorrect. I don't know. So very good looking ship in Minecraft, I would say. Uh, there's the forward guns. Very. We can see that. In the reality, or not in reality, maybe in reality, she could fire them forward, but in Rule the Waves, these cannot fire perfectly forward somehow. Um, there's the side view, and I, I kind of like this nose-on view. <laughs> what you'd see as she's trying to chase you down, especially if you're a destroyer. And then uh, this is, yeah, we have two of those. Maybe we had two of these shots from the water view. And next, okay, that's the last one from the Slick King. And now we have actually the the Valkyrie as well. So this is the Valkyrie. She's the one with the dual turrets. Three dual turrets, I believe. And the torpedo tubes. And you can see these are her dual purpose four inch guns helping out with the AA defense. So a couple views of her as well. Um, there's the torpedo tubes as well. We have the quadruple torpedoes on either side and there's the single lone double turret on the rear and uh, one last view of her and I think that's it so thanks for, again for all the fan work we've had such an outpouring of fan support in this one I hope it, it's obviously very enjoyable for me but I hope it's also been a lot of fun for you guys to witness um, the fan art and also to, to participate in the role-playing comments that are circling through every episode which is amazing awesome you know we can pay special attention to people like john who's just done a fantastic job with his role play he's consistently on it too i surprised man i'm not paying him anything which uh yeah just so people know that he's actually just that dedicated he's actually just been that consistent about it so where do things stand now as we return to the actual game itself. Well, we've actually done a very good job taking over Puerto Rico, which is now a German colony. The things we have to be very careful about are the international tensions. Tensions with France is at 11. I would really like to see this war come to a close very quickly, especially if we can get any other territorial gains. The thing I most would like to target is the Philippines. This time around, I think it will be worth us investing a little bit in the Central Pacific to to take Midway, just to have a staging ground for Hawaii. If it, you know, if that ever, if push comes to shove and we go to war with the Americans again, uh, that would be nice to have. Uh, I don't have any designs on the Falkland Islands, and Italy, in our previous engagement, has already surrendered all her non-Mediterranean ports. I still don't think it's quite time for us to dive in and take stuff here. How I kind of foresee that happening is maybe in the next war, it could be with France, Italy, or Great Britain. Um, okay, not Great Britain. If we actually take any territory from Great Britain, it'll be pretty much everywhere except the Mediterranean because we already we have so, we share so many sea zones where the British have colonies. We can just take those um, instead because like I would like to completely dominate Southeast Asia. I'd basically like this to be New Germany. Um, it's going to be a nice staging point for all my ships. Kind of in a weird way, I'd like 
the home zone. <laughs> I'd almost like this to be considered a home zone at some point because I'd like to station a large number of ships over there. So, I mean, because it's so far away, it would be more sensible to make either the Caribbean or West Africa, places which are in striking distance of Northern Europe. Um, they're probably more sensible to make those my uh, my targets, but okay, well, we don't have to, we can cross that bridge when we get to it, right? Let's go ahead and the new ship, the Redoubtable. Wow, that's not a new ship at all. It's an old, it says right here in the title, Old British Dreadnought. <laughs> um, obviously, that wow, I'm actually surprised. In 1904, they already had 14 inch guns. That's rather impressive. French medium bomber, rumored to be faster than our fastest medium bomber. Well, it's okay. Um, torpedo events. Thankfully, there's not that many in this month. I don't want to sink enemy ships that way. I don't want them, more importantly, much more importantly, I don't want them to sink mine that way. Looks like the Reno is still prowling, prowling around. She, I mean, if the city type, <laughs> the American city type, has anything to do with this naming system, that Reno should be a Fresno class. <laughs> um, anyway, so sinking four German merchant ships in West Africa. You mean to tell me that my putting um, all those Hohenzollerns on trade protection didn't have anything? Didn't help anything? I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't help, so. It says small engagement, does not look like it's a small engagement considering they, declining would take 675 points, which is, which is exactly what happened. Holy cow! Well, the enemy forces in this are very scary, which is why we'll accept. Attack enemy ships in general, yes. Okay. That's not gonna help. I did this battle entirely thinking. <gasps> Dawn is upon us, okay. Entirely thinking that we would just use our carrier advantage to the maximum. We have no idea how large their fleet is. We do have very good ships here. So if the game, as it sometimes does, if the game is going to keep things somewhat even in numbers, and by the way, for those of you who are interested in just winning the tactical battles, this is one reason why, like in my case, I should scrap the Hoenn Solorns because uh, I could easily replace those with just you know one more Sturmbringer or something like that. And it doesn't even matter if you go up against the United States and they have like 50 battleships. The way the game works is it, it doesn't seem to allow one side in these fleet battles to have drastically more ships than the other. So this is just like my advice, basically a tip, is designing better quality ships is usually better than building more of them. That may not be true in real life, but it is in this game because you almost never get to utilize your numbers advantage. Um, that's where the blockade mechanic comes in, so you have to be careful about that, but um, usually you can overcome blockades if you're winning constantly. So what do we want to do here? Before we advance even a single minute, I do want to set up a search pattern and I'm pretty sure our search pattern is gonna be a simple one, just covering the port to, this is Haiti, okay. Oh my gosh, we don't have any, right, of course, we don't have any air bases over here, so the extent of our ground-based targets, I mean, our ground-based aircraft, land-based aircraft, they're gonna be completely irrelevant. We do based on the a projection of the best, uh, our projection of what we know. No, no, no. Actually, they they actually use our numbers. Okay, these are our numbers. Where if we if they blah, 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 blah. okay, give Tortuga a second to compare or compose his thoughts. If the Americans have similar range um, on their ships compared to ours, this is what we can expect from their this airfield. Now their airfield would probably not have, okay, it would have okay, dive bombers and torpedo bombers. They would probably have medium bombers there, I'm guessing. Look at, we're just gonna get the heck out of Dodge. We're gonna pull back heavy cap. Our search is not gonna be this wide. I think very nearly it'll be that wide to the left, but to the right, I'm pretty confident well, it's, it's not taking up an extra search thing anyway. 
So I might go to 150 here. And then we'll just greatly decrease the range since I believe this is all we'll have to worry about. Very quick out and back. Let me go to 120 just to make sure there's nothing prowling around here. And essentially we wanna turn our, our actual capital ships back in a hurry. Especially dangerous, obviously, with such poor visibility right now. We do not wanna run into a bunch of enemy um, destroyers, especially considering our battle cruisers only have tor uh, torpedo protection too. Wow, I really cannot speak today. Anyway, uh, our Stormbringers with torpedo protection four and the very large tonnage that they are, a little bit better equipped to deal with a torpedo hit. So I'm gonna get you guys not to be on AI control. And let's get the destroyer proper to support. Scouting on that one is fine. And you will also be doing some crazy stuff as soon as we have the chance, but for now, again, you're, we cannot control you right away. So we set up our search pattern. What do we wanna do as far as, so we do need to make sure, I haven't seen a lot of the comments from the last video, but I just assume everyone that, I mean, I assume there's no way of dealing, changing these numbers once they're ready. So we do need to consider that. Although I don't know if I wanna ready anybody quite yet, just because um, I don't know who's gonna go up for cap. So I kinda of want the cap to be chosen first and then we can pick from the remainders. Actually, it's kind of interesting here. We can see a transition from the Arados to the Dorniers in terms of fighters. We have two different types, which is kind of funny. I don't even know the difference between them. I'm a terrible, <laughs> I'm a terrible admiral, or maybe I'm just more, I'm going to pretend my admiral's more focused on the ship side of things. So let's go one minute. That should give these guys a chance to put up their cap if they're gonna do that at all. Maybe they're not. Okay, wind means that we actually are moving in the correct direction nearly enough. I'm gonna move east. In fact, as soon as we get a chance with these guys, I'm gonna move east as well. So I guess we'll just move southeast. I believe the ships are probably very, I mean, boy, why would we be doing this? Who knows? Okay, anyways, let's just start preparing everyone for the attack then. Um, dive bombers are going to prepare with heavy loads, which is 121. I mean, we scouted, what, what was our scout going to? 120? So the farthest we expect to find them is 120 and we'll be closing that distance immediately, so. Get you to heavy load as well, even though it does prompt you for this right away and it doesn't take any extra preparation time or anything, which is a little bit weird. Um, interesting, so we actually see the two different torpedo bomber types right next to each other as well. Yeah, but I don't know the stats of them. These numbers don't matter at all. The only thing that matters is that the, they can carry torpedoes, which they all can. So we'll just, I mean, we'll just ready the whole group. Get them all ready so they're ready to go as soon as we, the first traces of light show. Do we want it? now? Nah, I'm just gonna do that. I, I could have micromanaged that and made it so that we have exactly 51 aircraft taken off at a time, but I don't think it's necessary. Oh my God, no. Launch torpedoes, squad max. You are, by the way, bid farewell to the bold Sudslifa <laughs> G94. It was a pleasure to serve with you. You will be missed. We will tell your family that you love them, but there's pretty much no way in hell you're gonna survive this. How do I react with my ships here though? That is a different question. Get everyone up to 20. That's easy enough to do 
regardless of what we want to do after this. Because it's going to take them a while to go to 20 knots, so even if we want them to go flank full out, we're already getting them towards that by making them increase their speed here. Okay. Oh my god. Just launch at this battle cruiser and hit anything in the way. We don't care. I hope you're launching torpedoes. I hope you're launching a lot of torpedoes. So the first turn actually started off pretty well for us, probably because we identified them before they identified us. They did not actually return fire yet. They probably will now that we're firing at them. So this first battle cruiser is actually going to take quite a few hits here. Okay, now that these guys are separated, I think we will get the destroyers to zip on down there. This is their time to shine for just a very few minutes until twilight occurs. Until we have a little bit of sun in the sky, but I don't think it's going to be... Even with their better torpedo protection, I don't think it's worth risking the most valuable of all of our uh, capital ships right now. Well, non-carrier capital ships. Get these guys to continue to steam. Oh, they redeployed to get the scouts to take off, I think. so. But this this may work out for us because this happens to be battle cruisers. All right, so let me go down to slow. We may need to micromanage this. Well, we're gonna get some hits here, that's for sure. So we have one literally... Are you kidding me? I hate you! <sighs> okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, damn it, anyhow, just... So mad I hit my mic. It was an accident, actually, but sorry about that. Light abreast. Turn together. Turn the heck out of here. Okay, we'll try this one more time. If this thing can just survive one more minute, please, 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 please. Max, take it down a little bit. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, we hit one. Please do not give me that... Nonsense. You gotta be kidding me! What the fuck? I know, the broker. You gotta be kidding me. 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 Oh my god. Oh lord, help me. Oh lord, help me. Oh lord, help me. We'll never get a better chance to launch torpedoes. You'll never get a better chance to launch torpedoes. Oh god, it hurts. <laughs> You will never get a better chance to launch torpedoes than being 900 yards away from a battle cruiser, and it pains me greatly, as I'm sure you can tell, that it is not allowing us. That it is not allowing us to launch torpedoes. Very painful. Please, please, please! If there is a god, if there is a god. We've expended all our torpedoes. Okay, so they, they just, he just launched everything. That's completely okay. Now, now that we've launched torpedoes, I actually want this to be... Yeah, actually, this is a fine angle. And you're going to pull out as well. So let's just take a look at what we have here. The Ranger class, which is a fair bit older. I think that's one of the ones that took torpedoes. This could actually sink with a single or two tor torpedo hits. Valley Forge, not so much, but we'll take the early hits if we can get them. Um, strikes. How are we doing on strikes? Everyone's on strike. The Dorniers. Dorniers. I don't know why. I always want to put a little French pronunciation on that. They are... How is there nine of them? There's one. There's one of them left. I'm just going to leave them alone. They're only one. It looks a little bit bugged. Okay, well, actually, yeah, now it changed. Okay, so that's fine. We'll exit. Just leave one alone. I don't know what it'll do, but it's fine. Um, these guys are racing into the fight because they still have torpedoes they want to lend to the affair. And you as well should be doing the same. Um, Sturmbringers are just going to meet the battle cruisers. Rendezvous point over to the east. Now, let's see how this turn goes. I have a bad feeling that the the G94, but she survived somehow the first two, uh, three minutes. So, oh my god, that's beautiful. That is not beautiful. That is not beautiful. No, 
Oh, man. She launched six torpedoes and got one hit. One out of six is not a good ratio. I mean, it's still one hit. Look, we're going to be doing better against the Valley Forge and if this battle continues because of that. But I'm going to continue to get these guys just out of here. I know that they're taking a few hits. But... They're only firing their rear gun, right? It's not good. We're like essentially kind of like crossing our own T. It's not quite the same because we're not moving into them. We're moving away. I think that the torpedoes are just much more damaging in the, at this point than the little gunfire that we will just have to absorb. So. Okay, so now we know what this is. It's called the Rochester class. It is pretty potent, a little bit older. 36,000 tons from 1927. So it's a fairly decent, yeah, it's a fairly decent um, battle cruiser. And what do we have going on here? Torpedo explodes. Well, thank God. Wait, how did that do so much damage? There's no torpedoes left. I don't know, is this, does this check? I'll have to ask, we have to ask Frederick if the torpedo explode events checks to see if there's any torpedoes left because there are none so we should be okay actually um phew, god I, the only thing i was hoping is that we could make it out of here without having a turret destroyed look at 14 inch turrets 14 inch armor is just not the same as what it used to be either that or you know somebody's pulling a seance against me uh seance maybe not the great war uh, you know voodoo voodoo doll Someone has a voodoo doll and they're stabbing it with the bad RNG pen. Who knows? So yeah, a little unfortunate. The G94 after I just talked about how, oh my god, it's a miracle she made it. Just took that massive explosion. Doesn't deserve to have taken it, I don't think. Okay. They might be wheeling back towards us, but the only thing I care about is getting my destroyer down here as fast as possible. We should be out of sight pretty quickly. We're not hitting with anything which means anything. In fact, they aren't either now. They're using their medium guns. But damage already done. We lost one of our main guns, and that this early on is, you know, a bit frustrating. Okay, we're clear. So that's it. We just pull off to the east, and we let the carrier do the work from here. I'm going to let my destroyer stick around and maybe get smashed, but well, I have two of them. We'll let both of them stick around. We do need to build some more replacement destroyers since we do use them, you know, in this. Oh, God. Mine gut. Yeah, this might be a good opportunity for our destroyers, believe it or not, but if I had to guess, this is the advanced scout, so probably a light cruiser. And I'm going to actually bring back my Sturmbringers just in case it's something we can take care of and make quick work out of. Let's get these guys back to line ahead. And just to facilitate that, I'll do this. Oh no, I think this is it's maybe much different. Oh my god, it's... I think it's... I don't think it's what I thought it was. Steady course south. And we need to launch these, uh, you know, are they ready yet? No, not yet. Okay, well, just hold tight then. Uh, just give me the torpedo launch. And we really don't want, okay, they're moving this way. Move in and move down like this. Okay, we got, we've been given the, the go ahead. Amazing. I'm not even going to try to launch with those. Oh, that is a good barrage. By the way, you've done extremely well, G88. Out of arc. That's what I thought. I kind of did this to myself, but it's fine. We're just going to get her out of range. She already launched like six torpedoes. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. She lost seven torpedoes, which is fantastic. So just get her out of range because she's done her job. Activate smoke. Man, this is going to be a... We are... I take back everything I said about fighting a balanced, fair fight. 
these guys way outnumber us. So it's gonna be a heck of a time trying to trying to win this. You know, people have been asking for more of a challenge. Well, I think the somebody heard you. Can I? I didn't think so. That's I think that's fair. Even though we are obviously out of the way, our torpedoes would not hit them. Uh, hit us. Um, I think it's fair. Three hits. Fantastic. Oh my god. And the G86, it turns out, is the one who is taking the brunt of it here. Um, is it too late to save her? I don't think so. Ah. Well, answer now is yes. However... So, how do we rectify this? Obviously, there's no ship. It, it, the algorithm is just totally wrong. What I would suggest even is that Frederick disables this until he can fix it, because it's obviously just wrong. I right, look at it, we'll fire wherever we can, but the, I would much rather aim at the battleship, because they're gonna probably continue to turn away, which means that we want our torpedoes not to lead by as much. And in which case, if I target this battleship, I might actually hit this battle cruiser as it turns away. Unfortunately, that's not going to be possible, and G86 is sinking. We'll use her as just a, you know, she can radio the formations of the different ships. And at this point, with such a lead in terms of um, torpedo hits, we, having suffered none so far, should just get the heck out of here and wait for the air to do the rest. You guys are moving 16. Let's get you up to 20. Move you a little bit more. Oh, I'm seeing red dots. Yeah, the recon's actually deployed before dawn. That's interesting. So what does that mean? I guess that means that they're planning to get to the zenith of their, or whatever, the farthest waypoint of their search pattern at daybreak or something because they're not gonna be able to search for they're not gonna see anything close by right now so it seems a little bit weird i guess that they're supposed to reach the end edge at this point but not really sure why i didn't tell them to go early anyway hopefully we will very soon have some of our uh other ships available okay uh other aircraft available i should say Okay, we got unsighted, hit by a torpedo, unidentified, hit by a torpedo. So two more torpedoes causing some more chaos. That's good to see. Of course, we are one ship less for it, but not that big of a surprise. We didn't expect, you know, just to skate on out without any damage. It just happened to be that we took uh, critical damage. We're very soon, actually, we need to stiffen up our lines here because in a moment we're actually going to be in vision range of these of these ships there they are you keep going you just get on out of here I will keep my light cruiser with me um, I'm not even sure how we want to do this. Yeah, I guess the battle cruisers is going to have to lead the line, which means they're going to have to attack this. I don't want that, but that's the way it's going to have to be. Oh my god, it's not good. No, just pull back entirely. You pull south. Oh, God. We could have... Well, I, actually, we were kind of getting out of there early to begin with. We kind of already wanted to get out, but... We are surely outnumbered. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well... We're 
going to have to up the turret armor, I guess. 14 inches just doesn't mean anything these days. What do we have on our freaking 15? Thank goodness. Like, holy cow, man. This... We're getting some pretty bad luck or something. Valley Forge has taken heavy damage. I think she's taken a few torpedoes. Man, we need to get the hell out of here, though. I mean, the corpse... This thing being come blown away or whatever doesn't is a model. We can just run right over it. Just to unfortunately nail our own swimming. Well, I don't know how many survivors there would be, but anybody left surviving is going to have a hard time of it. So we really need this airstrike to come in quickly. Perfect. I'm not going to coordinate the strike. <sighs> Should be pretty obvious where we need to go. And let's launch that. I just want to get them off and in, you know, out as fast as possible. Unfortunately, our Sturmbringers aren't very good at running away. We never expected to be in this situation, frankly. So they're going to have to beat like a fighting withdrawal. Otherwise, they're pretty vulnerable, not using any of their guns. Okay, please hit with more than 4-inch guns. For, please, for the love of God. Oh my God, please. They are, it looks like, still attacking our sinking destroyer, which is good news. Put this guy up to 30. <laughs> Just need to get him the hell out of here. You're creating a smoke. Good. That's good. Uh, okay. Yeah, you need to turn south so we have some better coverage. You guys should go up to squad max. This is danger time. Real danger. Danger Will Robinson. Danger. Still not getting any hits. We're taking heavy hits. Oh, belt penetration. I mean, you'd think in all the chaos that they wouldn't be able to hit crap. We've formed up a nice line. And they're, like, doing this whole dance. Like, what are they doing? This is literally... It is exactly as many ships as... Like, good lord, we gotta get out of here. Oh my gosh. And by the way, please do some damage. <laughs> please. Okay, we finally hit with a big gun. And the New Jersey here has... I don't know if she took torpedo hits already. Maybe, but she does have, um, it's nice to see damage go the other way. She has now lost two of her four 16 inch turrets. 13 inches of armor. Man, I just, I'm just a little surprised. I don't understand why, why can't we get a, ah, no, we, we've had a fine bit of luck. It's fine. I don't want to complain too much, but it would be nice if all of their ships started blowing up. Okay, a 16 inch hit. These are important, and especially because that New Jersey might be in some danger here. Not really sure whether my light cruiser should set the smoke screen in front or not. I haven't committed to it yet. This was a good turn. Okay, four inch guns. Why are we even firing him? Well, I had a ranger. I guess it might be doing something. It's like every ship that they have, oh, this is, this is devastating. This is going to be a big fight. Okay, the six-inch guns don't really matter. So the only thing that happened this turn is that the New Jersey got another pretty meaty broadside delivered. Some of their other ships are pulling off. I do want to look at what this Oriskany is. Okay. 
And in my opinion, just if you ask me, this airplane strike can't come soon enough. Maybe we should even threaten. Pretend that we are going to launch another torpedo attack. No, they're forming up their line. This is not good. Sturmbringer now has a fire started. Ugh. Hole hit. Okay, we did take another swipe at the New Jersey. I don't know if we can even turn tail and run away faster than these guys. 25 knots, 21 knots. So if they hold their line to the slowest number, then yes, we will be able to escape. These guys look like they're pulling off, which is good. I think we hit one of these guys with three, so probably that one is in bad shape. Um, 37,000 tons, my goodness. What the hell, why is this one so heavy? Oh, probably just because 31 knots is very hard to get to. Yeah, that's actually a pretty high tonnage ship considering I don't see, it didn't have very high armor and it only had six 16 inch guns. Okay, keep pulling back. We'll probably just have to fight. Oh my gosh, bad luck. Deck extended. Oh no, just heavy flooding. Well, have 32, it's not that bad. We don't want to pull back too much because, again, we can't fire <laughs> facing the rear way. Looks like this line is just gonna, it's gonna basically devolve into these four and all, all of our ships, which is one less than we had when we began. That's one thing to remember. They may have some ships with some damage, but we are one ship down entirely. So that's, I mean, that they're advantage US as a pretty good ship. Not a good turn. A four inch gun for them. Okay, light, medium, but the heavy one hit and it penetrated. Secondary battery probably destroyed. We're gonna have our steel gargantuan or whatever it's called, monstrosity, slip, and slip behind uh, and start covering for the Sturmbringer since she has taken a few hits. Thing we're gonna want to do, yeah, I'm starting to feel out what we'll want to do here. We're gonna lead a torpedo attack, which causes this group to break off. I think that's the best thing for us to do. So a confusing situation here. Remember that these uh, graphical images are bigger than the actual ship itself. So when this happens, they're not actually running into each other. At least that's what I want to say to keep our immersion in. Kind of makes sense too, because this ship is still, according to this. The center of this ship is 0.15 nautical miles away. That's a fair distance. I'm trying to think what distance that would be. <laughs> like what, like 300 yards? That's not that far. Maybe they are hitting each other. <laughs> Who knows? Anyways, what happened this turn? Uh, deck hit, which is good. We want deck hits because our deck is phenomenal. We'll want to engage this from a distance even. We did hit the, uh, we had a belt that hit, which did not penetrate, and we hit the New Jersey, who's taken quite a few hits. She probably isn't able to return fire very effectively right now. The Carl Donuts, <laughs> funny because he's, in this universe, he's a nobody, but he's got a battleship named after him. Okay, good. Two more hits on the New Jersey. She's lost another turret. Well, at this point, it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure she's a goner. As in, we don't need to worry about um, causing a flash fire on her or not. She's probably going to sink no matter what. Continuing to try to get out of here. Bit of a mess. Bit of a mess. Is there any limitation on speed due to weather? No, there's not. Well, we'll get these guys to move on more of an easterly heading. Another good turn for us. Well, it's mainly against this New Jersey, who's, I would say her her days are numbered, probably her minutes are numbered. Oh, God, then the Carl Donuts just got a bridge destroyed. 
Well, her firing effectiveness is going to be greatly reduced. I think that this destroys any fire control benefit. I think it just... Yeah, it's very bad, basically. We're hitting with 4-inch guns, though. Don't worry, guys. We're hitting with 4-inch guns. Um, yeah, this is not going well. We really need air power to save the day, and... I feel like we haven't really done anything in this in this episode yet, but it's almost time to bring it to a close. Okay, so light cruiser, you are needed. We do need you to do your... Well, this might be a kamikaze suicide run, but we need you to essentially free us. Oh, man, bridge damage. What the hell, man? These are some damn lucky hits. This New Jersey is certainly sinking now. I mean, if it doesn't list it here, we still know it's true. Okay, good. So get in front and prepare to launch. Okay, launch torpedoes. Now. Not at the New Jersey. Well, not at that New Jersey. But at this one. Friendly ships in line of fire! <sighs> okay. Okay. Not worth, it's not worth getting. <laughs> it's not worth an ulcer over a game, but uh, this annoying mm, warning is annoying. So we'll get the destroyer to also do a fake attack because I think that that's just actually, I'd rather this one who hasn't been damaged yet, she has a better chance of actually getting out of there. How are the attacks going yet? How much longer? Because desperate times, man, we really... Nine more minutes. We need nine more minutes, and then they're ready to go. On recon? No, 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 no. Sorry. Oh, they're ready. Four minutes. Four minutes. Four minutes. We can wait four minutes, I hope. We can, right? Somebody tell me we can wait four minutes. Please tell me. You gotta be kidding me! I don't even know how it's possible. What enemy sh friendly ship is in the line of fire? Please. Okay, we have this fleet thing um, activated. Carl Dunnitz now? Yeah. So hopefully she just fires on her own. I don't know. Surely now. Oh god, the two Jason turrets were damaged. That is the sinking destroyer, but I uh, just thought I'd point that out because that's an event I've gotten several times, surprisingly. It seems to be happening much too often. Okay, it's it's finally here. Finally have a chance. I think this is a pretty reasonable... Should we go for the Arkansas? No, I like the New Jersey's trajectory a little bit better. Let's launch that, and then we'll proceed on this course as well. So hopefully this limits their ability to fire. Oh my god, it's so bad. It's not good. Look, we don't know what the damage report for the enemies is. We might be hitting critical things. We might have blown out all of their bridges. We don't know. It's unlikely, though. If I go back and look at the battle report afterwards, if I remember to do so, we'll probably see that that isn't the case. And oh my gosh, it's about to get worse. <laughs> yeah, oh crap, rudder damage, but that's fine. Starboard. You gotta be kidding me! Please! Please, game, please! Oh, fuck. You gotta be shitting me. What the hell's going on? Game's rigged. It's okay. We will. We will prevail. I mean, obviously, we have to go in now. We have to save a Sturmbringer from imminent destruction, and we will do so with our torpedoes. So we might lose every single escort ship here, but that's what they're there to do: escort. So here we go. It may look for them to them like we're actually going to charge them, but really we're just having the worst luck ever. 
<sighs> I don't know how we'll recover from this one, <laughs> frankly. This is going to be a challenging one to actually salvage. Funnel topples on G88. Why did she launch her torpedo? It's like they're the, the they're the worst kind of incompetent. Okay, we're gonna continue to pull the battle crew. Well, she's the fastest one. I guess we'll continue taking our shots. Oh, it's not good. Oh, it's really not good. Okay, well, we'll call this video to a close here. There's hope. Q Ride of the Valkyries. The fate of the German Navy rests on a few pieces of aluminum. I certainly hope that these airplanes can get the job done because we're not in good shape here and this is these are some of our best ships. We do not want to lose them. We'll see how it goes in the next video. Until then, thanks for watching and pray for German ships. <laughs> Take care.